Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? Thanks to Stanley Cole for that stirring rendition of our national anthem. And we'll be right back. All good. And when they dropping off all that drip for free, you know you got power. They try to throw the whole bag at me. Oh yeah, I know I got power. I got power, what you say? Okay, I got power, what you say? I said, put in the hours. Look at you, the feet's down on the floor. I told you, you don't have it. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. And maybe it's shocking, and maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And the Clippers starting five. George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Harden, then there's Plumlee, and it's Mann in at the two-guard spot. And for the Celtics. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Tatum, and it's Holiday in at the point. Doris, get your entire roster sheet ready. These are teams, as you know, that will go deep into their benches. Well, particularly in the regular season, it's great for coaches, right? It allows them to play a variety of matchups, mix and match a little bit. The other thing keeps the locker room happy. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Leonard against Tatum. There's the three. That shot missing. Harden against Howard. Now Harden. What a tremendous game he played against Toronto. Outside Leonard. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Leonard's got the opening bucket of the night here for the Clippers. What a slick look by Paul George. Defense expecting him to shoot, but he decides otherwise. Here's Brown. Plumley with the rebound. Holiday against Harden. George looking over the floor. Shoots over Brown. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Now this is a reliable aspect of Paul George's game. That in-between jumper is pure. And here's Holiday. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Six on the shot clock. Zingas passes to Brown. Over George. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Three straight misses to begin the game. Not the start they were hoping for. Leonard dishes to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. Now, Kawhi Leonard understands when and where to deliver the ball to his teammates. Pretty play. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. And here's Leonard. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. It's up a three. Rebound, Boston. 
last time they met was in Los Angeles, where they beat the Clippers. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Outside, George. Harden outside. Plumley with a screen on Howland. Back to George. Fires from deep. Porzingis with the rebound. Celtics trail by three. There's the pass to Brown. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Well, how about Jalen Brown in transition? A phenomenal finisher on the open floor. George against Brown. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Right the pass to Tatum. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Well, Jason Tatum has worked hard to fill out his frame. It's not going to bother him that you're bringing a level of physicality. Now here's Leonard. He's coming off a 16-point game against Toronto. And guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Holiday dishes to Brown. Plays it up and banks it in. Brown's got his second bucket of the game to go. Oh, that's almost too easy for Jalen Brown. We see you, sir. Harden against Howard. Harden surveying the D. Outside, George. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. George has got five points so far. They can't leave any room for Paul George outside. He will deliver from deep. Holiday a screen on George. George against Brown. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. Taking a look at Boston. What a season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And, you know, for Boston, uh, they've come through for their fans this season. All the optimism surrounding them, all the high hopes, all proved to be legit. Well, how about the momentum they have built to get off to this fantastic start? All positive vibes right now for this group. Leonard and the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Just incredible touch from the interior. Kawhi Leonard more than capable in that painted area. Outside Holiday. Pass to Tatum. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Outside, Brzingis. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum passes to Holiday. Over Harden. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Leonard finds Harden. Down to five on the shot clock. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Man can hit. The Los Angeles Clippers come into this one after the win against the Raptors. Tatum passes to Holiday. Back to Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Porzingis can't hit. Clippers leading by five. Leonard looking over the floor. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first foul. Now Horford's checked in for Jason Tatum. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Paul George. 
On defense, Boston. Plumley, the pass to Mann. Harden with a screen on Brown. Just five on the clock. Here's Mann. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Back to Holiday. They need this. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Four-point game. And Doris, how about Mason from last season changing to shoot set shots left-handed after almost a decade in the NBA? Uh, Kevin, this is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. To his credit, it worked. Career highs for Plumlee from the field. So much of this is about confidence. Now, here's Brown following the miss by Russell Westbrook. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. All right, a chance to check out stats for Harden. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. He's putting up about 17 points, 10 assists, and 4 rebounds. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Daniel Tice is checked in for Plumlee. Powell comes in for Mann. And Bones Island subbed in for James Harden. The shot's good from Westbrook. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Celtics trail by seven. Here's Pritchard. 11 points for him in that last game against the Heat in Miami. Brown inside. He's defended by Highland. Two points. That one goes. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Clippers leading by five. Westbrook with it. 20 points for him last game against the Raptors in Toronto. And guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage, for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Luke Cornett. And Delano Banton's subbed in for Jalen Brown. And Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Now, here's Tatum. 26 points for him last game against Miami. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Powell, the pass to Tice. And here's Westbrook from the arc. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Well, Russell Westbrook, he's not super efficient from three, but if you give one, he's going to give it right back. Here's Horford. Westbrook pulls it in. Last outing for the Clippers, they won that game against the Raptors in Toronto. Yeah, they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment, and that led to taking shots that made sense. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Clippers lead by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. 
And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. E.J. Tucker is out there with Daniel Tice. And it's Westbrook in at the point. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Passes it to Hauser. Horford with a screen on George. Here's Hauser, defended by George. Five on the clock. Here's Pritchard. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Westbrook passes to George. Lets it go from deep. And Tatum pulls it down. Celtics trail by five. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Inside. And Tice throws it down. Well, the defense always so attentive to Russ, and he knows, okay, you're going to send defensive attention my way. I will find an open teammate. Here's Pritchard. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. And again, Boston with the triple. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Terrence Mann. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. The Celtics making a switch here. Cornette's checked in. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. Here's Pritchard. Boy, the ground Russell Westbrook can cover. It's incredible. The speed, the wingspan, breathtaking. George, that's a two-pointer. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. George has got nine points. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Puts it up. Again, the miss by the Celtics. I'm sure if he had the chance to do that possession over again, he would not have taken the shot. George up top. George sets a screen for Tice. Outside for George. Five to shoot. Launches it. Gets it to drop. And now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending uh, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court. And they're doing things we've just never seen before. Well, there's a mix of strength and agility that Jason Tatum is taking advantage of. Nice work in there. Drives it from nine. The rebound by the Celtics. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Clippers leading by seven. Outside Westbrook. Pass to George. George double teamed. Powell kicks to Tice. And the pass to Westbrook. 
Let's it go with a three. Rebounded by Hauser. Boston's gone four or six from outside the arc tonight. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Cornette, guarded by Powell. That one falls. Now, just a five-point Clipper lead. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Outside Westbrook, Tice, and Tice throws it down. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Now, here's Tatum. Ten points for him. Here's Pritchard. The wing jumper off target. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. The three from Tatum. And Westbrook pulls it down. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. 17-foot shot on the way. It's not going to go for him. It's his sixth miss. He's 5 for 11. Here's Pritchard, defended by Tice. Or for the pass to Hauser. Here's Cornett. That one off the back iron and out. Clippers leading by seven. Westbrook kicks to George. Fires for three. George missing again. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Pritchard passes to Hauser. Dives for it. Here's Cornette. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Every timeout a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Plumley is checked in for Daniel Tice. Leonard comes in for P.J. Tucker. Mann's checked in for George. And James Harden has subbed in for Norman Powell. Westbrook dishes to Hart. And the call will be against Al Horford. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Passes to Mann. Kick out to Westbrook. It's good from long range. Westbrook's got nine. You love the quickness that Russell Westbrook gets into in the catch and shoot opportunities. Rise and fire, young sir. Porzingis with a screen on Hart. Outside, White. Pass to Brown from the arc. Rebound by the Clippers. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. It's stolen by Brown. And Holiday kicks to Brown. It's White on the wing, guarded by Hart. White, good. Uh, Derek White showing you I can put it on the deck and finish off a pretty drive. Nicely done, Derek. In his short career, Terrence Mandoris has been asked to play a variety of positions and roles. And Kevin, that's a testament to his adaptability. He has started. He's come off the bench. One thing we know nightly, he's going to be tremendous with his energy and competitive spirit. Here's Westbrook. And it's good. At time running down on the shot clock. 11 points in the game. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. One forty-four left in the first half. 
and the foul called on Porzingis. That's his first foul. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Boston. Norman Powell's checked in for the Clippers. Back to Plumley. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And here's Leonard from three. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. Trailing here by eight. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. Harden the pass to Mann. 114 left in the first half of the game. Harden with a screen on Brown. Pocket six. Back to Harden. Fires the three. And Boston with the rebound. Persingas has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A holiday. A 17-point game for him in the win against Miami. Brown outside. Holiday sets the pick for Brown. Takes the three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Clippers leading by eight. He dishes it to Hart. It's Powell on the wing. Plumley with a screen on Persingas. Here's Powell, and he makes the eight-footer. Powell's got his first points of the night. You've got to be able to manipulate pick and roll. Norman Powell taking what the defense gives him. That's really nice. Brown deciding where to go with it. 12 seconds left now here in the second. Tries to hit him, and it's set back by Leonard. Oh, Kawhi Leonard, the claw, says not here, not now. Number 42, Al Warford. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling, making good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. They should win most of these games, Ernie. They're playing great. The guys are connected. Everything's been in sync. As long as you don't play down to your opponent, you can get some easy Ws. And we need to talk about the first half that Russell Westbrook just turned in. He was all over the place. Westbrook proving he still can take over a game. When he's on, he impacts the game in every phase that you can imagine. I love to see him smiling. I know Russ gets some shade thrown his way from time to time, but as any opponent, he's a the guy they fear. Agreed, Chuck. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game, Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Without question, George is playing his skills today. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. 
Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. Right on the bucket. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Buries it from three-point range. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. Leonard inside. Tatum on him. And it's Leonard missing. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Outside White. And here is Tatum. 13 points in the game. Six to shoot. And Holiday has it in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Lumley finds Leonard. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. To the paint. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Oh, boy. You love to see that kind of burst from Kawhi Leonard. What a finish. Outside Tatum. Persingas with a screen on Leonard. Here's Tatum. Oh! And I tell you, this guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Holiday against Harden. Dishes to Leonard. And that one is good. Leonard's got six here in this quarter. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Tatum kicks to Brown. Misses the three. Clippers leading by 11. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest and may show everything. Kevin? Yeah. You know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. And there's the bucket from Tatum. It can be a very difficult thing to check Jason Tatum because of the multitude of ways he can score it. Give me the floater game, JT. Oh, Leonard in position. My goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Celtics trail by 11. Outside Holiday. And here's Tatum for three. The Clippers grab the miss. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Harden against Holland. Leonard, that's for two. They grab their own miss. Harden outside. Three-pointer. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got his fourth assist in this one. have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. The three from Tatum. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Harden kicks to Plumley. George dishes to Plumley. Back to George. Offline from the top of the key. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Holiday. 
The Clippers have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. The pass to Leonard. Shoots the three. And it's White with the rebound. Boston's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Here's Tatum. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Well, you love the way Tatum will take the mid-range if it opens up to him. George with the screen on Holland. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Now Horford's checked in for Boston. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Terrence Mann. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Tatum on the wing. The three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Tatum's got 12 points in just the second half. Harden outside to the inside. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, what a surprise. James Harden has finished a play with contact and gets a chance for the three-point the old-fashioned way. Nicely done, James. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. With a break in the action, let's go to the 2K leader. These squads have been lights out this month. Third spot, the Celtics. Fifth, the Clippers. I mean, guys, these are two of the hottest teams in the league right now when it comes to scoring the basketball. So it's Boston now. A 12-point game. Pass to Tatum. Over Plumley And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Brown. 24 points for Jason Tatum. Boy, it's so clear that Jason Tatum is comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. Again, Los Angeles. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by number one improving his handle and number two becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special. Westbrook can't get it to go. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by nine points. Over Plumley, And again, it's Boston converting. Sweet little mid-range from Jalen Brown. That three-level scoring coming into play. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. George against Tatum. Porzingis with the block. Tatum with it. 24 points for him. Fires top of the key. Again, the Celtics good for two. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. Down low, here's Plumley, and it's slammed in by Plumley. That pass was about the location, puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Holiday, the pass to Horford. From deep three point territory, and out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Out of bounds. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You take a look at Los Angeles. Here in the middle of the regular season, they've been able to get the fourth best record in the conference. You know, for Los Angeles, they've done a good job staying relevant this season. I mean, I was concerned they'd suffer a drop-off, but just give them credit. They've hung in here in this playoff race. The resiliency has been crucial for this team. Anytime it looks like they may start to drag a little bit, they've picked it back up and stayed in the hunt. From downtown, and the Celtics hit again from deep. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Horford against Leonard. Harden sets the pick for Leonard. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. 
And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. How last month turned out for him. He's averaging 11 points a game, four assists, and four rebounds. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I'll tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? 59 seconds left in the third. Here's Leonard. It's hauled in by Cornette. Celtics trail by five. And here's Brown outside. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And the offense starting to click for them this half. They've raised that field goal percentage quite a bit since the break. Feeds it to Leonard. And he goes big with the dunk right over Al Horford. Well, don't let Kawhi's quiet demeanor fool you. This guy has athleticism and explosiveness. How about that in style? Tatum kicks to Brown. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Westbrook's got five rebounds tonight. And there's the defensive three-second call. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. And just a top-notch free-throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. And the technical free-throw is good. Kawhi is known as a low-key guy, but don't let that fool you. He's as competitively tough as they come. From past the arc, and another three for the Clippers. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for Los Angeles. He's at the quarter century mark, 25 points for him in this game, as they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Celtics trail by eight. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. George and Leonard are the forward. Russell Westbrook out there with Powell, and it's Tice in at the five. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams, neither one giving an inch here. Here's George, again Los Angeles. And Paul George knocks that one down every time. He is a threat to score from any spot on the floor. Kicks it to Tatum. Over George. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut back down to six after the bucket from Tatum. Just doing what he can. He's competing and he's converting. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Cornette passes to Walsh. Here's Cornette, defended by George. Cornett can't get it to go. Clippers leading by six. Leonard attacking and finished off by Leonard. Boy, what is more fear invoking than Kawhi off the bounce near the cup? Look out. Here's Pritchard. And again, Boston with the triple. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. And you don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Outside Westbrook. Hunter finds George. Trying to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Tatum. From 20 feet out. And that one swishes right in. And that's now 30 points for Jason Tatum. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Well, Celtics making a switch here. Banton's checked in, and the Clippers with a change here, too. Tucker's checked in. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Cornette. 
Here's Benton. Money from the wing. Benton's got his first two points of the night. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Howell inside. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Drew Holiday comes checked in for Delano Benton. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. James Harden, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. The three from Tatum. Ah, there's Tatum Dreams on this play. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And the Clippers call time here. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lue talking with his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Tatum, again, the Celtics good for two. The rise and fire by Jason Tatum, ready to catch it and score it immediately. Now here's Harden. He's guarded close to the middle. Tice passes the pop, taken away by Holiday. And they're pushing it up. A high post shot and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Brissett has checked in for Boston. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Clippers. He kicks it to Hart. Outside, George. They get the rebound. Harden finds George. And it's George again missing. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Offered up top. He's covered by Westbrook. Outside Holiday. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Holiday's got the lead up to four now for Boston. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Westbrook. Driving inside. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Russell Westbrook, the ability to consistently touch paint is impressive. What a driver. Pritchard passes to Brissett. The pass to Holiday. The three. It's rebounded by Tice. Tice has got four rebounds now tonight. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Here's Westbrook. Tice, no one around him. Rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Holiday. Over to the left wing. Brissett passes to Pritchard. Shot clock at six. For the three. It's rebounded by Tice. Tice has got his fifth rebound in this one. Down low and stolen by Tatum. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Tatum. Tatum drives the double. Holiday, no one around him. Boston again missing. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Harden sets the big for Westbrook. He feeds it to Harden to tie it up. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. A smart play by James Hart. Gets his advantage to draw the contact. He's made a living at the free throw line, guys. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up. And boy, have they. 
the other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making Water. shots. Nice Side delivery out. there. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. Here's Harden. Leonard draws the double. From the baseline. This is what makes Derek White so dangerous. Yes, he can score it. Yes, he can pass it. But he is a tenacious defender. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. Tatum drives in. Tatum slips by the contact inside. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. No doubt, Greg, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. Now Tatum. Inside, Tatum! Just call him the closer. He won't let this team lose. Down against George. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. You cannot give Paul George these extra chances. This guy is deadly from the free throw line throughout his career. The first free throw is good. Personal foul. Third team foul. And George drops them both. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. And here's Holiday. Round down low, defended by George. Here's Tatum. The shot's good. Tatum's got 42 in the game. Well, Jason Tatum in a big moment, he is unafraid. George against Brown. There's the triple. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut to just one in the basket from George. George has got seven points for the quarter. Leonard against Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Leonard. And Tatum driving. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Mason Plummer. These moments with the game hanging in the balance is exactly what Jason Tatum dreamed about. If you want to be like Kobe, time to make some shots. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. But those were essential. Very steady work at the free throw line for a very tight game. Here's George. Moves back up. And the bucket is good from Plumley down low. Man, that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Back to Brown. Ball moved by Boston. Like it's it. Porzingis inside. Looking on Plumlee. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And the Clippers call time here. They trail by four. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Plumlee with a screen. 
screen on Brown. George with no one around. And it's off from three-point range. It's White on the wing. And Harden comes to help. Holiday finds White. And Brown now is off the key. And an intentional foul right there. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line, Kaylin Brown. At the line for two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And they need a profitable trip here. And luckily, Brown looks to be in the zone. And the Clippers have possession. It's a five-point game. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Man, left side Leonard over Tatum. It's good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Absolutely no fear. Kawhi Leonard welcomes these moments. He relishes these moments. And he commits the intentional foul. Personal foul. Fourteen foul. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. And he steps up and knocks them down, making it a two-possession game. Elbow shot is on the way. Got it! Oh, oh, Paul George loves delivering when the game is on the line at his absolute best. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a five-point game. Harden against Holiday. Here's Mann. Offline with his three. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right, he stays connected, and great timing on the contest. At the line. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. For Kristaps Porzingis, we know this guy has all-star level talent. For him, it's about staying healthy. At seven foot three, if he's able to stay away from injuries, this guy is a big time threat. And so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Jason. Congrats on the win. It was a slow start on offense. So what got you guys going in the second half? Uh, you know, Coach told us we didn't deserve to make any shots. You know, we were too tense. We weren't having any fun. Uh, you know, we started having a lot more fun in the second half. Guys were smiling and cheering, and we had some shots. Well, it's good to know that you smile and make shots. I'll keep that in mind. Congrats, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.